Hey guys, it's your boy Vinny, and welcome back to another Tree Tower Chimps video. This Tree Tower Chimps is going to be Adora, a uh, Perma Charge, and Energizer. Uh, we start with a uh, submarine. Uh, this can solo us until Adora, until we get Adora, and then we are going to rush a reactor. Uh, this first run that I did. Uh, had no sacrifices so uh, I didn't sacrifice anything just used Adora sub and, and one perma charge one of each no sacrifices and we get uh, we rush for uh, reactor and then we get uh, we go for the boomerang so we can get the turbo charge to deal with the first Moab and this is gonna last us for a while. Yeah, it's pretty good. The first mob is pretty easy. We deal with it. Um, and the 40s uh, go passing really fast. All the camels uh, actually need to be decamelled by the sub first. Because no, uh, Adora and Perma Charge don't have camel detection. But both of them have a good Moab and Ceramic popping power, at least with their abilities. We almost lose their own 54, but it's pretty doable. And... Well, it's not that hard, this mid-game, because um, Turbo Charge and Adora are pretty good in this uh, early mid-game until the... until the super ceramics and we rush for energizer first because it gives extra xp to adora and makes both turbo charge and adora have less cooldown so we can use uh, the abilities more often because basically uh, the <laughs> entire damage is revolved around the abilities uh, because uh, Turbo charge on itself is not that good without its ability. It's just a, a bionic a boomerang, and uh, Adora it has all of its power on its ability too. Especially on the Ball of Light, we really need Ball of Light to deal damage. Um, but uh, it's going to be useful later on. We get a uh, perma charge on 78. And right now the game is really, really easy. I started putting some money into Adora. As you know, Energizer uh, basically discounts uh, the upgrading price for heroes by, I think, 50% uh, faster. So it discounts 33% uh, of the upgrading thing on the heroes. So basically, you pay less, get more on the upgrades. And I really want to get uh, Adora into level uh, 20 before 95, because we are gonna need the level 20 ball of light. And as you can see there, uh, we use the ability all the time, because the Energizer makes it super fast. We lose on 94 because of poor ability management. But uh, we get it, and 95 is a death round, again we need that level 20 ball of light because that is really is strong. And we can't even buy it, so I did another run, this time I'm gonna sacrifice but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm only gonna use sacrifice once. It's the same thing. The only thing that changes is that on round uh, 89, I will sacrifice, um, I'll sacrifice the perma charge because I, I need to keep, uh, I need to keep the energizer to decamel the subs, the, to decamel the DDTs on round 90. I can't keep the perma charge, so I sacrifice the perma charge. Uh, to get Adora into level 20, but that is later on the fr the round from 6 
to 88, uh, the run is exactly the same, basically. Like, the same order of upgrades and the same placement of towers. Uh, I left uh, the turbocharged boomerang left-handed just just to just to play around and uh, I was going to actually make this video be uh, Adora Energizer Super Maelstrom even with sacrifices that didn't work I think I still have that video I might do I might post it uh, fail it actually died on 99 <laughs> And I'm so tired of actually losing on round 99. Again, round 54, we die, but I just uh, poor ability timing. I'm tired of losing on round 99. Hopefully, the next Pam Tactics, we don't lose on round 99, or we win at least. Um, yeah. Adora is not in a good spot right now, she's not that good, not dealing, uh, she doesn't deal that great of a damage. They buffed her uh, by adding that support ability on her level 7 ability, so she now buffs Savatars, which is pretty good, it's not bad at all, it's a really good thing to have. Uh, but still, she doesn't deal that much damage. Only, I mean, her level uh, 20 and like um, Vengeful Adora deal a good amount of damage. She can be a pretty good late game hero, but you have better options like a Zilli or Brick Kill or something. She is not that great in any of the time. She's pretty good in early game since she is cheaper than Churchill and deals basically the same job but still uh, it's she's probably one of the worst heroes both for normal game and for chimps it's just not worse than Benjamin uh, on chimps Benjamin is pretty good Benjamin is pretty good outside of chimps, but I still uh, really dislike Benjamin. Alright, so we are reaching the 90s here, and this is when the fun begins. Here, uh, I didn't place any money on Adora, and on 89 I noticed that I have enough money to buy Perma Church again. So I sacrifice it, and I don't have enough money to buy Perma Charge. <laughs> but uh, we deal with the DDTs, I get Perma Charge, I buy the Cross Path, and right now we have level 20 Adora and both the tier 5s that we need. So I'm just gonna save all the 90s money. As you can see, Ball of Light is eating it out, everything dies instantly. Ceramics are not a problem, mobs are not a problem, BFBs are not a problem, ZUMGs are not a problem, uh, DDTs are not a problem, Fortifieds are not a problem. Um, as you can see here in 95, I died last time and this time was so much easier because of the ball of light thing. And there is still two hard rounds, we still have 98 and 99. They are uh, really hard rounds. But with a uh, good ability timing, we can actually deal with it. 98 was a pretty hard one. Uh, you have to be uh, pretty fast with your abilities, use them at the right time. But it's pretty easy. As you can see, I actually end up losing, getting overwhelmed by ceramics, and I thought, oh no. I will have to use Ball of Light again, and I won't have it for 99, so... But I did something different, and it actually worked. I didn't even have to use a Ball of Light. So, uh, so we had Ball of Light for uh, around 99. And without the DDTs, it was, they are pretty strong, but we are here in round 100. 
and we are going to deal with it, it's pretty easy. Burma Charger has a pretty good uh, single target damage and so does the Ball of Light, so we take it down quite easily. Energizer is there just to basically just to give ability cooldown and uh, decamo the DDTs. So we pop it, the DDTs get decamoed, we pop the DDTs, and now they're just UMGs and everything gets popped. We won. Okay, so this was it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. The next video will be a spam tactics video. It's going to be the last spam tactics of primary, which is going to be um, top half of the bomb shooter. So yeah, this was it for today. I see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.